Dangerfield and Harriet Newby. A story of love, a story of family, a story of courage. In 1859, John Brown and his men went to Harper's Ferry. One of those men was Dangerfield Newby, who was a brave and black man who made you say, Wow! Like a river that carried logs, twigs, leaves, and rocks. Dangerfield Newby carried dreams of saving his family and putting an end to slavery. His family was important. He loved them and wanted his wife and children to have the freedom that other people had. As he worked toward this goal, he was like the little train that could. He stayed on track and said, I know I can, I know I can, I know I can. During the raid, Dangerfield was frightened, but he knew what he had to do. He thought about the letter his wife, Harriet, wrote to him. In it, she said, Dear husband, you know not the trouble I see. The last two years has been like a troubled dream to me. It is said that master is in want of money. If so, I know not what time he may sell me. I have one bright hope to cheer me in all my troubles, and that is to be with you. For if I thought I should never see you, this earth would have no charm for me. Your affectionate wife, Harriet Newby. Unfortunately, Dangerfield Navy was the first raider shot. A six-inch railroad nail went through his neck and his body was thrown to the pigs in Hog Alley. Was he a failure? No, even though he died, he helped end slavery and taught us to never give up. Never give up! Never give up! Never give up! Never give up! Come listen to the rivers Come listen to the land, come listen to the mountains, and you will understand. May her beauty and her story live long after we are gone, told by the rocks and rivers and by those who carry on. Take me down to Shenandoah, to the joining of the streams. Take me back to Harbor's Ferry, let me revel in my dreams. Where the beauty of the mountains and the struggle to be free Flow into one mighty river To the sea of history